Hey guys, it's Siobhan with To Kitty and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing November monthly readings for 2018 and this is for Sagittarius. Now that can apply to Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus and I also recommend that you check out your Sun, Moon and Rising sign videos because sometimes you'll resonate more with your Rising sign or your Moon sign and um, it's also a good idea to have an overall view of what's affecting the energy for the month of November. Now that being said, uh, time is fluid and so is energy, so this may not resonate for um, specifically November. It can bleed into October or December or whenever you're uh, called to watch this video. So keep that in mind. I also recommend watching the video again at the end of the month because something might not make sense right now because they haven't happened yet. So once you go back and you watch it again at the end, you'll understand how things played out and what, what the meaning was more clearly. Um, so if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Just send me an email and we'll get you all set up there. I'm looking at about 48 hours turnaround at this point, so from reception of payment, it might take me a little while to get to your emails, but once we are connected and payment has gone through, it's 48 hours to receive a video recorded reading and or about a week if we're scheduling a live reading or a Reiki session. Okay guys, so let's get into it. Sagittarius, um, I wrote down some notes while I was tuning into your energy and right off the bat I got this image of someone stabbing somebody in the heart. So this is intense. <laughs> um, then I got wolves lurking in the dark. So it was almost like you could only see their eyes. You could only see the glowing of the eyes and everything else was dark. And there was this tree and we, you were like running to the tree. And this tree was the tree of life, a tree of magic. And it ended up healing you. So then I got new love abounds when healing compounds. And at the very end, I got a quote, which I actually used on my Instagram the other day by one of my favorite, if not my favorite, psychologist, Carl Jung. And he said, one does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. So this is about not fearing the process of shadow work because shadow work is part of light work. It doesn't mean that you're demonic in any way. It doesn't mean that you're, um, you know, negative. It's just diving into the darker aspects of yourself and shining light on them so that you can heal more fully. Because if you're only healing at a surface level, then you're really not healing overall. It's still affecting your energy. There's still negative things within the subconscious mind or within the energy field that need to be released and transmuted into light. So shadow work is actually really important um, and that was a pretty intense little image that I got there and I'm feeling it in my heart chakra now. So it's something to do with the heart chakra. And I just did the Scorpio video, which was very intense. So, um, probably a little bit of that residual as well, but we are in Scorpio season. So <laughs> it's been pretty, pretty, um, crazy as of yet, as well as with Venus retrograde. So we're using Rider Waite Tarot for the main questions and the clarifiers are the Gilded Tarot by Barbara Moore. We're going to do the monthly, oop, my monthly spread. Okay guys, let's get into it. Sagittarius. What is going on with Sagittarius? A lot of the other signs have had a lot of themes of um, death and rebirth, a lot of emotional healing work going on right now. That's Scorpio season for you, Venus retrograde. The nodes just changed places. I'm not an astrologer, but I do um, like to look these things up and see how it's affecting my energy because I'll feel it and then I'll look it up and it'll confirm it. So um, you might be being called to do the same. Current self, current self of Sagittarius. What is the current self energy of Sagittarius? Oh boy. <laughs> and we're off to a rough start. No, it's fine. Um, so we have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So that's that being stabbed in the in the heart that I was feeling, being stabbed in some way. But we also have 
Ace of Cups, which is new love. And that was what I also got, new love abounds when healing compounds. And the Queen of Pentacles is a very earthy, grounded energy. She's a very mothering, nurturing, um, loving, compassionate. This can be um, a Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo, so an earth sign. And if it's not that, um, an aspect of yourself or a person in your reality who embodies very nurturing, loving, motherly type of energy, which is going to give you the love that you need to heal from this betrayal or mental stress or um, this feeling of being stabbed in the back or stabbed in the heart. So that's what's coming up as your current self right now. Uh, let's see the theme of the month. What is the theme of the month for Sagittarius? We have the Two of Wands which is about planning, taking action, and making choices. So this is choosing to move away from something that wasn't working for you or planning to go on some kind of a journey. This could be travel or changing houses, moving homes, um, moving away from somebody or towards somebody else. Uh, let's get a clarifier on that, actually. Why not? Can we get a clarifier on the Two of Wands as the theme of the month? And again, we have the Ace of Cups. Wow, you guys, new love abounds. They were not kidding when they said that. Um, so Ace of Cups and Ace of Cups. That's two aces. That is complete, unconditional love being offered from the universe. So this is really beautiful. Like, you guys, look at this. That is a gift from the universe. That is um, unconditional true love from within and filling up your own cup until it overflows and you can share it with others. I'm being drawn to the eye in the sky with the moon cycles. So this could be linked to, or it is linked to the transits of the moon or the cycles within astrology. As I was saying, we have Venus still in retrograde until November 16th. And as I'm recording this video, we are in the middle of the Scorpio new moon. So um, it probably won't get posted for another couple of days because I have to do um, all of the uploading and things like that. But I'm recording this all at once and it's on the new moon energy is very much affecting. So this is um, a whole new beginning. This is a, a complete clean slate when it comes to love. And it's so funny that they said love abound, new love abounds when healing compounds. So uh, that's the theme of the month. It's going to be about going out and seeking love, planning and making the choice to walk a path of love. What is the key goal for Sagittarius in the month of November? The key goal. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, this is about waiting, so being patient. You know, you've put in the work, you've manifested, you have... Um, sowed the seeds and planted and watered and now you're just waiting for it to be harvestable you're waiting for it to be ripe enough for you to pick it off and enjoy that sweetness so right now it's about patience that's the key goal is to have patience and know that this is all coming to fruition it's just a process of healing from the old and then being able to move forward so Ooh, that's interesting too. Um, it's a bush, but I was seeing the tree that I was seeing in my mind's eye. Um, it was like the camphor tree in, um, what's that movie, Totoro, which is like this magical big tree, but it always reminded me of like, it looks so bushy on the top. So this could be you going to the tree for healing. Um, so maybe go out into the forest, maybe find a tree that you resonate with and help, um, help yourself to heal by connecting with its energy. So the trees are very healing, just like we breathe out carbon dioxide and they breathe in carbon dioxide and then give us oxygen. We have a symbiotic relationship with the trees. So when you go to them for healing, you're feeding them. Um, so don't think of it as them taking on your burdens. They're not. They're actually, um, it's like food for them. So they 
take away the negative and they process it and turn it into positive and give that back to you. So it's a really beautiful relationship that we have and it's a sad thing that we're cutting down all these trees because they are the trees of life and they are connected to us. Anyways, I'll stop going off on that ramble. <laughs> so the obstacle to overcome for Sagittarius. What is the obstacle? It was this one. The Three of Pentacles. The obstacle is, it's almost like you feel nervous to show off your work. And this is something to do with money or finances or career because we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the, the Three of Pentacles as well. So um, this could be something to do with you don't want to feel criticized for your work, but at the same time, you're brilliant, so just, you know, you've put in the work, you're being patient, it's almost like you're not quite ready to show it off yet. Because the Three of Pentacles, um, there's people, they're working with him, but they're also, you know, they're critiquing his work, they're giving him input, they're working together in a sense, but um, if you're a very sensitive artist or craftsman of some kind and it scares you to put your work out there um, because you're scared of being stabbed in the heart because this is your your love you're you're giving that love to the world and when people don't understand it or they they don't like it it can it can hurt you it can wound you but once you're strong enough you'll be able to share it and you won't care what people say that's you know that's how i do this i i not everybody is supportive of what i do here and um, i'm okay with that it made me stronger to go through this kind of an energy and to come out healed and still willing to give everyone else love as well as myself. So that's what it's all about. It's about finding what really brings you fulfillment and then sharing that with others, whether or not they, whether or not you get criticized for it or loved for it. It's not about that. It's just about sharing the love, sharing the love. <laughs> so um, that was the obstacle to overcome. So it's getting over that fear of either working with other people or sharing your work or manifesting and working towards crafting something that you feel good about and that you can uh, show show off, you know, not show off in the, in the ego sense, but give it, give it out to the world, share it. Um, so the major accomplishment we have the Two of Swords wanting to immediately jump out, so I'm going to grab a clarifier on that, because the Two of Swords is about indecision, not seeing things clearly, blocking your heart chakra, um, being overwhelmed by emotions and being overly analytical or logical, but I'm also seeing this as uh, making a decision, so the major accomplishment here may be simply about making the decision, because we also have the Two of Wands. So let's get a clarifier on the Two of Swords, please. In the obstacle, or yeah, the obstacle position. Or sorry, this isn't the obstacle, it's the, um, the accomplishment. Sorry. Two of Swords in the accomplishment position. And we have the Three of Wands. Um... Sorry, they want this upright and they're drawing my attention to, again to the Two of Wands. Okay, so we have another Two of Wands. So that's two times you've had that and two times you've had the Ace of Cups. Doubles are very significant. That's Spirit's way of really emphasizing the point here. So this is um, another different um, depiction of what the Two of Wands is. And this one focuses more on choosing the path that you want to go on. There's no wrong path, but it's you're going to be your choice. And then once you've decided, the Three of Wands is the natural after effect where you have sent out your ships and then you're waiting for them to come back. So we have a lot of twos and threes, aces, twos and threes. So that's good. That means you're moving forward. One, two, three, you know, you're taking the steps, making the decision to to choose what it is that is going to bring you fulfillment. So instead of choosing from a logical sense, you're going to be choosing what you're passionate about, what you really love, what brings you fulfillment. And then through that, you're sending off those ships into the unknown, um, but you know that they'll return to you when they're meant to. So uh, what to avoid? 
what should Sagittarius avoid in the month of November? Whoa, we have a lot of cards there. I'm going to put them back in. Can we get like one or two cards, please? The what to avoid. They're very literal. One or two cards. Here's two. <laughs> so five of pentacles and the hermit. So avoid feeling like you don't have enough um, or hermiting yourself and then feeling left out in the cold because you are hiding away from the world because you're scared to share your gifts or your talents or your abilities or your love. So it's it's that that feeling of the the wolves lurking or feeling like you're stabbed in the heart. It was it's um it's like a fear of being rejected. It's a fear of being hurt. It's a fear of people criticizing you or tearing you apart, you know? It's like the wolves tearing apart um, the stray person in the forest or like the, the monkeys in the Wizard of Oz tearing apart the scarecrow. It's that fear of people really criticizing you to the point where you, it, it, it tears you apart. And so naturally, what's the best defense against that? Well, it's to hermit yourself. It's to stay inside. It's to not go out. It's to not share your work. It's to not... Um, you know, not be out in the public eye, but ultimately that makes you feel left out in the cold, like you don't have anything, because now you not only do you not have, you know, your friends, your family, your um, fans, whatever it is, but you don't have your art either, you don't have your passion, you don't have your career, so that really gets you nowhere. Um, so avoid, avoid putting up unnecessary boundaries out of fear. Healthy boundaries are, not, are, are good and, and can be um, a healthy thing, but if you're doing it out of fear, um, then really you're just you're just falling into resistance, which gets you nowhere. So it's more about surrendering to what it is that you're meant to do, and then letting the, that flow carry you where you need to go. Um, okay, so that was what to avoid. Let's go into what to embrace. What should Sagittarius embrace in the month of November? This one wants to come out. So we have the Ten of Wands, and it's funny because Scorpio got this in the exact same position, if I recall correctly. Um, so you may have Scorpio somewhere in your chart, or that's just because we're in Scorpio season right now. But the Ten of Wands is about carrying a burden. It's about taking on a lot. And this coming up in the what to embrace position can, can indicate putting the burden down. So stop taking all the pressure off of your, um, or stop putting so much pressure on yourself to perform in a certain way, or putting so much pressure on yourself to please other people is what I'm feeling. Um, can we get a clarifier on the Ten of Wands? Yeah, so we have the Two of Swords again. So that's the third duplicate that you guys have had in this reading. It's super significant. So it's feeling burdened about making this decision and feeling like you don't have the money to do what you want to do. So there's definitely something waiting on the money here, looking for investors, but fearing how that may put you at their mercy or have them try to control you or uh, then they're going to be able to have a say in what you create. It's something something like that. And the Queen of Pentacles coming up as your energy is letting you know that you actually do have everything that you need to manifest and to create this reality or this project that you're working on because it does seem to have something to do with career, passion project, or your, your life's work. Um, especially with the two Aces of Cups, the two... Uh, two of wands, and then the two, two of swords as well. So this is very much the beginning of a journey on your life path of, of doing what you set out to do here, and that can be really scary. And you may feel like you're not supported, you don't have enough um, to get this off the ground, but, but that's something to let go of, is putting down the burdens and knowing that you can do this, making the decision and seeing clearly that you can do this. So where to find support? Where can Sagittarius find support? Mm. 
Yeah, you're feeling very unsupported because the cards don't even want to come out. There we go. There we go. <laughs> um, the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. Perfect. So, so what is supporting you or where you can find support is from divine timing. You know, you're being, you're being asked to have patience right now because this new beginning is coming. This new opportunity is coming. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a choice. There's two paths that you can go down. Um, wow, that Stairway to Heaven song just came into my head. There's two paths you can go down, but in the long run, it's not too late to change the road you're on. Interesting. Interesting. And the chariot, which is about movement, which is about success and um, f not fame, but being recognized for your work as well, because this is success and accomplishments in whatever it is that you're doing for the world. And the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. This is fated energy. This is destined to be what you're supposed to do or what you're supposed to embody. So um, don't fear taking that first step and setting out on that path. It's just going to be um, how you want to do it. And if you're already set out on one path, like the song says, it's not too late to, cho to change the road you're on. That's interesting that that came up and we have that Two of Wands energy two times with the Two of Swords energy two times and the Two of Cups or the Ace of Cups two times. So definitely finding stability um, and taking that step forward. You've got your two legs and you're going to have to choose which way you want to take that first step. Um, but you're being supported by the divine. You're being supported by being able to move forward to success very quickly once you make that decision. So the advice and encouragement from spirit for Sagittarius. It was this one wanted to fly out. Seven of Swords. I'm going to get a clarifier. Um, ooh, fast. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we have the Sun, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, clarifying the advice and encouragement as the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is about... Um, it can be deception, manipulation, stealing, ch lying, cheating. Um, but it can also be about taking back your power, taking back what's rightfully yours. Um, especially the yellow represents like the solar chakra, which is your personal seat of, of power. And it is your self-confidence. So it's taking back your self-confidence no matter what other people think. Um, so the sun... The Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, to me, speaks of healing that has been done or that will be done from wounds that have been inflicted you uh, upon you on the, in the past. Sorry, let me get my words together here. Mercury retrograde, and we're already in the shadow periods. So I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm struggling with speaking. But this is healing that needs to be done around wounding that occurred from feeling like you didn't have enough or that people were withholding either money or energy or support um, when it came to investing in your uh, something that you were really invested in yourself. So it was you were hurt by somebody who didn't want who didn't see the potential or your potential or the potential of your idea. And so there's a little bit of hesitation here when it comes to moving forward in this aspect yet again because of what happened in the past. But this is healing that needs to take place around this wound that occurred because you're actually so close. You are so close to just, you know, getting to the Ten of Wands, which you have here, um, putting down those burdens and accepting all of the love and the abundance which is actually there for you. It's just you're not feeling like it is. So when these cards are reversed, the healing is there for you. The abundance is there for you. It's just you're feeling like it's not. You're blocking it in some way. You're resisting it in some way. Or there's some subconscious belief that you're not good enough or a subconscious belief that you aren't talented or that you don't have this skill. It's like self-doubt um, and wanting to hide away from the world for fear of being hurt. 
in the process of exposing yourself, you know, because when you do expose yourself, you do have to be a certain level of vulnerable. Um, and you're, it's almost like you're scared that this is going to happen, but the advice and encouragement is saying that it's not. This is old stuff from the past. Those are old wounds, and it's time to heal those and understand that there is fairness and balance when it comes to the energy um, that you give out. So when you give freely and purely from yourself with that Ace of Cups energy, when you make the decision to do that, that energy will be reciprocated to you. And often it, come back, it comes back threefold. So when you set out with good intentions and you give love to the world, that love will return to you times three. But if you set out and you um, wish ill will on others or anything like that, that energy returns to you times three. So it's going to be about making the choice to heal from the past so that you're able to move forward and have confidence and, and not have that fear that's really restricting you and holding you back. All right, guys, um, so I hope that this resonated. Keep in mind, it is a general reading, so not everything's going to apply to everybody. If it doesn't resonate with you, just, you know, click off, go watch something else. I'm not offended by that. It is what it is. This is meant for some people and not for others. Um, it is a collective reading, so I'm tapping into so many different energies. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, like I said before, all the information is in the description box below. Just hit the show more button and send me an email and we will get that kicked off for you. So uh, yes, good luck in the rest of November, Sagittarius. You can do this. Have confidence in yourself, your abilities, your talents, and the, your passion, your love will guide you and allow that to guide you. Use your intuition. Use your, um, your inner healing capabilities because you do have that very strongly. So Use your passion to carry you forward. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next month. Bye.